a metaphor I must tell you to take me a moment. When you get married at 22 or 24, and the guy is 28, 29, the priest comes to you and says, Dearly beloved, we're gathered to together today in the presence of the Almighty God to witness the joining together of these two persons in the royal or holy estate of marriage. And then he turns to them and says, Do you take this person to be your beloved spouse? To love and to cherish, to have and to hold. That's the nice part. But then he starts asking you some real questions. In sickness and in health, richer for poorer, better or for worse. They didn't tell you how much worse or how much better. How much richer or how much poorer and both can be real bad. Because if, if the guy was poor and all of a sudden he has billions, that might be more trouble than being married to a poor man. Because wealth will bring out all the devils in his character. That it might have been better to marry a man who had a ceiling on the wealth he would get. And you know, partnership in business and in employment is similar. I love people. I hate to fire people. I hate to move them around. And if I'm with you, I'm, I'm lucky to be with you for a long time, if not forever. Yeah? Uh, but, but when the task upon your team is much bigger than the minds that refuse to change from when you got married, you sound like the man who got married 24 years ago, and he's saying, do I? When they told him to say, I do. <laughs> because he didn't see around the corners to what she would be like or what he would be like when she's sick, that she's grumpy, she's nasty, she's ugly, she's threatening. She's bitter, or that he's a, a, a domineering, chauvinistic pig, sorry, when he doesn't have his coffee in the morning. She didn't know all of that. And he was charming at first, but with time he changed. Or oh, sorry, the real guy showed up. Yeah? Um, and, and it's the same thing with partnerships. And so you have to restructure the persons or restructure the organization because that team might not be able to take you where God is trying to take it. And you have to be able to recognize that. And it's not the easiest thing to do, to change your structure. But some of you came here today because your business, your enterprise is not going where it can go because the team you have cannot carry the new load that is coming. It's not adaptable enough. And so you're going to have to change some things. If you can train them, train them. That's change. But if you can't train them, change them. God bless you.